Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of the Liverpool Dream and as you might know we are in some kind of trouble here our board expects us to reach a Champions League qualification for the league system and right now we are in uh, seventh place we are nine points away from uh, a Champions League spot to our to our advantage though we have played fewer games than them so we can catch up a bit not all the way but we can catch up a bit if we manage to win those games and we actually had some lucky results this round i mean tottenham beat everton that was bad for us but other than that both uh, man united and man city lost so uh yeah it could have been worse if uh, if they would have won uh if you take a look at the schedule it changed a bit since we moved on in the Euro Cup. We managed to uh, reach the semi-final and we got Tottenham, as you might remind uh, remember from the drawing. It was between Tottenham and Olympic Maché and Tottenham managed to beat Olympic Maché. So we have a British uh, semi-final coming up. Uh, today's episode is about the Arsenal game. And uh, Arsenal is having a great season. They are fighting for for the championship here to win the league uh, obviously Chelsea is in the driver's seat but Arsenal is still having a fantastic season but we are we are playing them uh, at home so I believe since we have the at home advantage I mean Arsenal is a great team they have a great season but I think there is a possibility for us to get three points at home and then after the Arsenal game we have both uh, Swansea and uh, West Brom and Watford in the next three games if you don't count Euro Cup and if you take a look at the league table Swansea, West Brom and Watford so if we manage to beat Arsenal we have a great chance on actually winning uh, f four league games in a row because both Swansea, West Brom and Watford are having bad season struggling in the bottom of the table so if you just can win this game we have a chance on four straight victories in the league. And I believe like if we manage to win four games in a row, we will probably be somewhere around fifth or fourth place in the table. But I mean it's easy to say that we can win the games. We need to actually win them. And we are starting with Arsenal today, and it's going to be a very tough game. But hopefully hopefully we can come out on, on, on top. And we'll be done a bit of rotations here because uh, a lot of players are tired, so uh, this is the team we will start with. But we are playing a bit. We are playing attacking, and uh, we need to win. We are playing at Anfield, and uh, I mean only three points is counting today. Only three points. And Arsenal, this is the Arsenal team we're up against, and they have so much quality in the, in the team, and they have a lot of quality on the bench too. So no wonder that they are fighting for for the league title. Hopefully we can challenge them in a season or two and hopefully we can get three points today because this is Anfield and they won't get anything for free at Anfield. So game on. Emrejan, back to Skirtle, Allen. And that's it for the first intro highlight. Let's see who gets the first real one. Looks like we have the possession here. Come on, guys. Moreno with the throw in. Sacco. Why did he do that, Sacco? That was completely unnecessary. That was completely unnecessary. And is it a penalty? It's a penalty. I need to go back and take a look at that. Why is this a penalty? So let's roll and let's go it in slow mo. What really happened here? That's a Shemlane to Walcott. And a fantastic save there by Martin Skirtle. And then it's this challenge that became a penalty. From from the replay it doesn't look like a penalty. But maybe there's something I didn't see there. But it didn't look like a penalty, but the penalty was given, so not much we can do about it. Come on now, Minale, we need a save here. Show us that you want to stay in the club for next season. Because I might be looking for a new goalie during the summer. 
so yeah. Carsola makes no mistake and Arsenal is in the lead. But we still have a lot of time left to play, so hopefully we can step it up a notch. Would be fantastic if we could manage to equalize before the first half is over. Check. Sanchez, Casola, great inception by Skirtle. But they, they keep on winning every like second challenge. Oh, what is shitty defending there? Oh, a fantastic save by Minole keeps us in the game. A fantastic save. How can they get every single chance when it looks so close when you look here? But they get every highlight. And the nightmare continues. Let's go attacking. We need a goal before half time. We need a goal. What a nightmare of a first half. I got a bit quiet there because I was thinking like what can we do? What can we change? Um Yeah, definitely a very bad first half. Now we are going all out attacking. Actually, let's take a look at the instructions too. Let's go route one. Let's exploit the, the flanks and try to work it into the box. We got nothing to lose here. But I mean, we are going to be exposed uh, for counter-attacks now. Klein, Benteke, continue. Emrejan, Miller, Allen, Allen again, Miller, Benteke, Firmino, Firmino, Firmino scores, Roberto Firmino scores his first in goal of the season, and we can still turn this around, we have quite some time left, and a great finisher here by Roma Roberto Firmino, he makes no mistakes, put it close to the... Goal. But now they have a chance here. And continue might be a counter-attack. Benteke. Benteke going for Miller. Miller. I was expecting more. Oh well, come on guys. Now we have some positive vibes here. Alan, Benteke. Miller. Alan, Klein. And Klein scores! Klein scores! Nathaniel Klein scores his first goal of the season! His first goal of the season, such an important goal! Now he, the dream is alive! What a finisher! <laughs> what a goal! Nathaniel Klein, his first goal of the season, it was just what we needed! Just what we needed! But we need more, and it's a corner, it's Ursel. Walcott back to Ursel. Walcott again. 
Take the ball of him, why are you just looking? Great, Moreno. Goes for Benteke. Benteke, you should be a target player, you should win duels like that. Milner. Emre Can. Goes for Klein. Klein to Milner. Firmino! Oh! So very close! So very close! And now it's Milner here with the corner. Benteke. Allen. Allen for Skirtle. Skirtle is not the right guy to get in situations like that. That should be no problems for Moreno. Let's see now who needs a rest. What can we change here? Klein is basically dying. He's having a good game, but he's so very tired. Actually, I'm going to go uh, to the tactics stage to get see some more information. But Klein is tired. He was tired before the game started. I think it's time to bring in Gomez, even though Klein is having a great game. He he needs to get some rest. And Firmino is... I think Firmino. We're going to change Firmino, continue around. Continue, you're going to be the advanced playmaker attacking. And then we're going to change Firmino and Milner around. Firmino, you're going to have the same role as you have on the right side. And then we can bring Barbosa in instead of uh, Firmino. And, uh, Barbosa is going to be an inside forward. That's what we're going to do. Then we're going to, as usual, we're going to save the last sub for a little further into the game. In case we get an injury. Barbosa starts an offside. We have 15 more minutes. Come on, guys. We can do it. We can do it. 10 more minutes. What will we do? I think it's time for Allen. So let's bring in Hendo instead of Allen. Allen has done a good job, but he's tired. Let's bring in Hendo. Maybe we can give us some more control, some possession on the midfield to create that final highlight. And yeah, we need one goal. One goal. Come on. Miller. Oh, guys, what a comeback, what a comeback, Miller with a free kick, Sacco with a goal, his third goal of the season, and what an important goal, take a look here at the rerun, Miller with the free kick, and Sacco makes no mistake, and now it's time to change things up, we are going to uh, change things up by a lot. We are going for for this. This is what we're going to go. Um, yes, and box to box, and that, and that, and that, and now we need to check out the instructions. We are going to be defensively, it's not much left. We are going to waste time. We'll try to retain possession and probably going to do it like this. Okay, guys, eight more minutes, maybe or seven more minutes, maybe some extra time. And if we can get three points out of this, it would be worth so much. Then the dream will definitely be alive. Then the chance for Shepley. And they get the highlight ice up. Sanchez. But maybe we can counter-attack here. Henderson, Henderson is strong. He's just, he's fit. He can do something. Come on, Jordan. Oh, it's off the post. And continue with the rebound. Ow. Oh, so very close there. Benteke hit the post. And then continue got a good chance there on the rebound. And that's Milner with the corner. And that's a great save, unfortunately. And Milner with a free kick. And the ref blows the whistle. It's full time, guys. What a comeback. What a sensational comeback. Comeback, comeback. I'm passionate and it was a great comeback. And I'm really proud of the lads. That shows some great strength and great character. And a win like this should be fantastic for the morale. The guys will bring this forward to the rest of the season. The feeling from this game. And yeah fantastic basically and look at the league table we are getting closer we are passing southampton and we still have one game left less play than man united tottenham and chelsea so that was just what we needed just what we needed and as you might remember the next three league games will be against swansea 
Watford and West Brom. So we have a great chance now of winning three games in a row. And we need it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Oh, what a fantastic comeback it was. And if you enjoyed this Liverpool dream, make sure you press the subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot and it will let you know when the next episode is out. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you during the next episode.